Hello, I'm Dimitar and welcome to another session of Architectural Concept Design with Blender. In this lesson, we'll set up Blender further for an optimal workflow. So go to File, User Preferences, and if we go to the Input panel, a fast workflow in Blender usually requires to know quite a few shortcuts. The hotkeys for views, top, front camera, etc are assigned to the number pad keys. However, many laptops don't have number pads, so I have created a key map configuration for smaller keyboards that do not require a number pad for top side or camera views. These hotkeys are in addition to all the existing ones, so if you follow any other tutorials, you can still invoke them in the same way. So here in, in the input panel, import key configuration, and maybe need to make this a little bit bigger by just dragging it. If it's in your downloads folder, the easiest way to reach to it is go to documents, up one folder, click downloads. In my case, I have it in a different place. And load the UH Studio hotkeys, import key configuration. Save user settings and close the window. So, which are the hotkeys? Control 1 is top view, control 2 is front view and you can see always in which view we are in the top left hand corner control 3 is left view control shift 1 is bottom control shift 2 is back and control shift 3 is right so control 1, 2 and 3 top, front, left shift control 1, 2 and 3 the opposite sides control 4 is the camera view so whatever camera we have selected as the active one will show up and if I get out of the camera control 5 toggles between orthographic view and perspective view and control 6 zooms to the extent to the current selected objects so if I do control 6 then we can only see this And the last important one is if we have quite a few more objects, so I just duplicate this a few more times. And if we want to isolate the selection, if we click on one object, and if we go to view, let's just show it without a hotkey. And you go to view global local, and that gets us into local mode where we can isolate a few objects if we, if we have many to work specifically on them and then view global local to get out of it so the shortcut for that is shift slash and to toggle it on and off for blender usually to have a, a window to select we press the B key and then we select the window However, most other programs that I use don't need to invoke a specific key to do a window selection. So I've made the hotkeys for your Studio the same way. So if I select all and deselect by clicking the A key, if I just drag a window, you can see we select all the objects within that window. Control drag, deselects shift adds to the selection to deselect all of them quickly we just drag a small window somewhere and we deselect all so that's the hotkeys uh, there's another option that we need to activate so file user preferences add-ons tab if we search for planes and we check the import images as planes add-on and then save user settings and what this allows us to do is in file import images as planes is import any image that we can view it in our viewport to view it we would need to go to either the texture or the material shaded mode 
So that's going to be quite important for the next tutorial in which we start to trace the context. So let's go to a new feature as well. Layers. The layers in Blender are located here in these 20 buttons. The top ones are 1 to 10 and the bottom ones are 11 to 20. To move an object to a specific layer, we press the M key for move to layer and then we select to which layer we want to move it. So let's move it to the second layer. Now you can see that it disappeared here because we only the first layer is checked. If I shift click, it enables that layer as well. So we can shift click all of them and shift click again to deselect. So let's move these two objects with M to this layer and now we can see them there. Now layers are quite useful in Blender, like in all other programs, but specifically because they have special hotkeys assigned to them as well. For example, if I just press the number 1 without any modifiers, we turn layer 1 on, 2 is layer 2, 3, and you can see how they change here, 4, 5, and so on. So we can really easily toggle between simultaneous information on two separate layers. The bottom ones are invoked with ALT plus the key 1, 2, 3 and so on. So with the keyboard if you want to turn on multiple layers if we click, if we shift click the layer then it enables multiple and ALT shift click enables the bottom ones. To turn on all the layers on a standard US keyboard it's the key left of the number one, accent grave. And if we toggle it again, it turns on just the last selected keys. So that's how keyboard, that's how layers work. Thank you, and see you next time.